Okay, so I'm doing this video. They were saying that, you know, maybe the reason why sometimes your face looks swollen or you don't look good is because of the lighting. Or maybe it's because I don't feel well and my body is telling me and anyone who looks at me, I'm not well. Um, then they said, well, we don't like the way your teeth look. Okay, you know. Okay, you don't have to like my, my teeth. Like, but that's what I'm saying. The, the things that they're talking about are all the things, the reasons why I don't get along with them. Like they'll say, there was a string here. It's as though, you know, I'm going to talk about something that just happened in terms of how I'm feeling. They said, what that happens is what happens to me while I'm sleeping, I woke up from a nap just now and they said they kind of can regulate my body temperature so I feel hot. But no, it wasn't just that. Before, they made the the room I'm in hot. Because what they use is they use pressure. So, so the pressurization was to make it seem like my head was throbbing and I could hear the sounds and the voices louder. They use magnetization. Part of that is when you take, if you if you have pipes that have rust or sometimes they may put something in the water it makes your skin if if it's heated feel hot or itchy it's also um so it's temperature it's pressurization it's magnetization and it's um there's something else that it is but i, I oh and it's being hit with something so why being hit with a laser or if you had some sort of injury matters is because it makes that injury hurt again. So your body really isn't healing. So someone in the talking claimed she was me. And that's how this became a big deal with the talking because they were going to use her to pretend to be me as though I'm speaking. And I don't understand why they needed to do that, but it was designed to make that person speak in my apartment. They record it and then say, I'm having these conversations. So, um, the reason those elements are necessary, so you have to either hit, be hit with a laser or have an injury. The pressurization makes your head throb and it makes you, it makes your, you feel like the talking is in your head. It's not in your head. The magnetization draws up if you, the, the, the metals in your body. How I figured that out, and I'm going to tell you folks how I figured that out. I used to wear bobby pins in my hair. And the spot where I had the bobby pin was sore. So I realized that doing something with metal, something with metal, because that spot would be sore. And it wasn't the soreness from a bobby pin because I, I've worn bobby pins for years. And this was when I was in my 40s. So I'm used to how bobby pins feel. I knew they were doing something that attract, was a, something that attracted metal. And that's how, you know, I, I always like to give you guys a little something in, in my videos to tell you and warn you. That's how I knew they're doing something. And um, going back to magnets, I would hear them upstairs talking about the metal detector because I, I told you guys I had the jewelry that I was, I even had it online for a point. So it's not that they wouldn't have known. And I heard them trying to figure out what was metal what wasn't and I had a necklace that I bought from um HSM and it was it's gold plated over silver and they said oh my goodness we the metal detector they said it out loud it's silver it's not fake meaning it's it's heavy and I sold one online I got two because the gold plating was wearing off and I got another one I sold one online and I got pretty much what I paid for. I only paid like 20 something dollars and I got it. And years ago, maybe in 2016, 20, no, 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 not 2016, 2008. So eight years before 2016, maybe in 2008, 2007, 2007, 2008, a woman came into the store where I worked, a customer. So she goes in and she wants to try clothes. And I was wearing that necklace. So I have the necklace on and it's a, it's a big necklace. And it's so big that I can wear it. I could wear it as a belt. She goes, could I 
you know, I love that necklace. Could I try it? I said, sure. I take the necklace off and I give it to her. She's in the fitting room and I'm standing there. She says, oh, could you go and get me blah, blah, blah. I said, not until you give me my necklace back. And she looked like, ha, ha, And I looked like, ha, ha. And then afterwards, she didn't buy anything. So I knew that that necklace was worth something just by that customer, by the fact that I knew it was gold over silver. But when they were here, this would have been when I, mm, this could have been in 20, maybe 2019 or so. And they did that um, thing upstairs and could tell that that was actual silver because it didn't go off as metal. I knew that was something of value. So what I'm explaining to you folks is that that's how I started to figure out what they were using to do this to me. They were using something that can detect metal. They even said that they can bend metal. I had something, I wish I had something nearby that I could show you. And the metal seemed to get soft. So it was a solid piece of metal, but it got soft. And so they said that's how they can bend metal. So that's how I started figuring out the elements. So going back to my health, I feel like those types of things affect my health. So they said they're no longer using microwave heat on me. They're using regular heat. They shouldn't be using any heat on me. And that's my point. They don't use heat on people. Don't use these these things on strangers. They don't know me. And that's another element that of this that I have to say. They don't know me. And if you don't know someone, you should not be experimenting on them to make them sick. The last thing I want to say about this is that it seemed like some group thinks that they can just latch onto this and recreate it. Why would you recreate serious health issues in yourself? For what? What is the benefit of doing that? There is none. So if you don't like my, how my teeth look, don't do this and don't subject yourself to this. If you don't like the way my face is swelling, don't do this. Don't subject yourself to this. To this. If you don't like the swelling on my collar, you see that? This versus this. Don't do it. So I'm telling you folks, I again, I have a title th that, you know, I wanted to say, I'm warning people, don't do this. This isn't something that you play around with to gain something. You don't gain anything but an early death, okay? Don't do it. The other uh, thing is when I'm doing my videos, they try to come up with what I, they think I'm going to say because they feel like if they can come up with what I'm going to say and then talk in the background of my videos, you will think they're the ones giving me the ideas. You wouldn't think that. Common sense says it wouldn't make sense for them to spend so much time and energy trying to guess what I'm going to say if they can read my mind. They said they can read my mind. You wouldn't have to guess. They would be able to completely say everything I'm about to say in advance and put it on their own YouTube channel with one of them saying it. It doesn't make sense. What this was supposed to do was not only discredit me, but take my ideas and then make it seem like they were involved in giving me these ideas. They aren't. These are people who would never help me. They, they've they never helped me and they would never help me. So they'll say, well, what? no, no, you, you would never help me. Be honest, folks. This, they wanted to make it seem like I don't tell the truth. I have evidence that I do tell the truth. I've shown you folks more than enough evidence that I'm telling the truth. And I've shown you the ceiling. I'm going to do show you guys the ceiling one more time so you guys know I'm telling the truth. They always have holes over where I am. So let me, uh, I'm going to have to stand up. So bear with me. I, I, I don't know how to reverse this camera once it's, what's the name? So let me stand up slowly and see if I can get these holes. I don't know if you guys can see these holes. Always where, over where I am. So this is over the bed. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know. And then I have it over the chair. So I, I think you guys should have seen that. But I have a video where I even show you the ceiling. So you can tell if the holes are in the ceiling... I've shown you marks on my body that correspond to it. I've shown you marks on other things that correspond to it. Then clearly there's an issue. 
Thanks for watching.